Hello again. Today, we are going to be talking about real numbers, okay? So you might be asking, well, aren't all real, aren't all numbers real? Well, we'll get to that. So today, we're going to talk about real numbers, okay? And how those are broken up. Real numbers are broken up into two categories, okay? Those two categories are irrational numbers and rational numbers, okay? Now, ir irrational numbers are numbers that cannot be written as a fraction, okay? For instance, the square root of 2. If I were to punch that into my calculator, I'd get something like 1.4. One, four, two, one, three, and it would keep going. All right. So it never repeats and it never stops. Okay. Another example would be pi. All right. Pi is three point one, four, one, five, nine, and goes on and on and on, and it doesn't repeat, and it doesn't stop. When you write it as a decimal, if it doesn't repeat and it doesn't stop, then it is an irrational number. Rational numbers would be like three-fourths. If I wrote three-fourths as a decimal, it's 0.75 or one third, if that were a decimal, it would be 0 0.3333 3, and so on and so forth, okay? So rational numbers can also be uh, narrowed down into another subgroup of rational numbers. Maybe we'll put another little box over here. And we'll call those integers. All right. An example, examples of integers would be like negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. Those are integers. The numbers that we would typically see on a number line. Okay. Then within integers, you have whole numbers. And those, starting with zero, so zero, one, two, three, okay? And then within real numbers within rational numbers within integers within whole numbers you have what are called natural numbers all right natural numbers would be one, two, three, four. Another name for natural numbers would be counting numbers. All right. So these are all the different kinds of real numbers. Hope that made sense.